Good morning. Welcome to day 19 of Joe at 40. 19 days I've been doing this. No wonder. No wonder I'm going nuts. No, I'm fine. Anyway, um, good night's sleep. I set the alarm for 3 o'clock. I didn't put it audible. I put it on a very light vibration. Stuck the phone next to my head so I would not disturb my wife. Had the app store all ready to go. So all I'd have to do is wake up, open the app store, click on purchase, and go back to bed. Well, I set the alarm, but I didn't turn it on. Dummy. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> but there, you know, there's like that internal alarm clock in my head when I know I need to wake up. So I actually woke up kind of like, is it three o'clock yet? It was four o'clock. My body woke me up at four. So I quickly looked at my phone going like, I wonder why I must have slept through the alarm. Didn't realize that I hadn't actually turned it on yet. Uh, got on the app store, checked the, uh, the wait times as far as if they sold out yet. And uh, the version I wanted won't ship until next month, which is okay. I can wait. I'm patient. I don't need it next week. I can wait till next month. Not a big deal. As long as we get it before I go away, uh, in, in the beginning of October, I uh, should be okay. But, um, out of curiosity, I checked the Jet Black, the new glossy black version of the iPhone, and that thing was all the way out to like the end of November. They were almost sold out of the, I'm sure by the time I record this, you know, that one will be sold out of pre-orders. But, um, that brings me to the, uh, to, <laughs> just thinking about the obsession over finishes like I I understand certain aspects of it like I like the color black I don't want a, a silver one because I don't like the white front face of it I like the all black front face the case design as far as I'm concerned doesn't matter because I'm putting a cover on it I'm putting a case uh, you know and this time I got a red one which I'm excited about a silicone red one no more uh no more leather ones unless the silicone one really stinks because, you know, I like the red one. I like my red Apple Watch band. Did not order an Apple Watch, a new one. I like the one I've got. It does everything I need for now. If it breaks, maybe I'll get another one, but I'll, I'll wait. And if they drop the price like they did on these significantly, then I might rethink it, but I don't care. Anyway, I babbled a long time about Apple crap yesterday, and honestly, it's at the point where who cares? So I'm going to move along. Moving along. So um, heading to an interview right now. Um, I am so hoping this guy knocks it out of the park. I think I said that yesterday as well or the day before. I've been saying it to everyone I talk to. Uh, I, I like this guy a lot. And uh, he's, he's just a little bit... Um, he's a little bit less experienced than the other guy that I like. But I think, uh, you know, finding a likable person is not something that's trainable. Does that make sense? Something that you like, that you think is going to represent your company in a positive way, is uh, extremely, extremely valuable in my industry. So that's cool. Um, so I'm doing that. I will probably be there in a minute and meet this guy. And hopefully, when, next time you hear from me, I'll be extremely happy or, you know, content. Either way, I'm going to have a decision today. I have to. Uh, this week has been really, really crazy with work. Next week is going to be even crazier. I haven't even told you guys what I'm doing next week. Uh, Charleston Beer Week is next week, and I'm shooting an event every single day from Sunday to Saturday. So I'm doing that on top of being a man down at work. Um, you know, when I, when I uh, put my name in the hat for shooting these jobs phot photographically, uh, that was before Ben had resigned, so, you know, I'm not going to back out, but I'm in for a fun week next week. Uh, so, you know, it should be good. It should force my hand in not drinking at these events because I have too much work to do and I, I don't have the physical energy to waste on alcohol during the week. I think on Saturday, though, there's this thing called the Funky Flirt, Funky Firkin Festival up in Somerville, it's like a, a beer festival. It's like a block party with beer. All different um, breweries bring 
they are funky brews. They're experimental drinks, so it's it's kind of fun. You get some really uh, weird, odd brews, and uh, last year it was a lot of fun. I had so much fun at that at that event. So I'll probably have some drinks during that event because it's during the day. I can get a ride. Should be okay. Um, what else did I want to? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. New Music Friday. Uh, today, uh, a couple of new albums came out that I'm excited about. July Talk Touch, which I streamed online the other day while I was exercising, while I was running, I was streaming it and listened to the whole album, and it's a very good one. Um, kind of takes off pretty much where the last one, last album left off, which is a good thing. I like that. Um, not a huge change. Uh, a little bit more polished, a little bit more uh, refined, which. You know, I kind of like things rough around the edges myself. I, I do enjoy loose production, but it works for these guys because they're so damn talented. I think even if they were in a low budget situation, they'd still sound pretty damn polished. Uh, you know, live they sound polished. And, uh, they, you know, that's just the kind of band they are. They're just very talented. Um, and Head in the Heart, which is like the. Um, the kind of chill, yoga-y type of band, you know, lots of, um, it's, it's a really, really, uh, it's a, I guess a chill kind of acoustic type of band, but this album is actually, I, I listened to the first few songs while getting ready this morning, and it's, it's pretty upbeat, actually, uh, you know what, all their albums do have a, a measure of, of upbeatedness to them, it's just that they're not, like, hard-edged, so their their drummer, I think, is actually the the most important member of that band. He is whenever I see them, whenever I have seen them live, I always just get focused on the drummer. The guy is a percussionist, just powerhouse. He's so talented, so good. He is like I think the underrated guy in that band because they are a very vocal band. As far as they have like three lead harmon guys three lead uh vocalists a girl and two guys that all harmonize together so that is the forefront but the rhythm section is unbelievable in that band if you ever listen to head in the heart and even if you don't like that type of music check out the rhythm section just listen to it because you'll be like wow this guy this is like really dynamic interesting musical percussion they're really good anyway i'm at my office i gotta run I'll talk to you soon. Good evening. All right. So, um, long day. It's seven o'clock now. And, uh, the good news is we came to a decision on our hiring and, uh, it wasn't an easy decision. That, that was, I was hoping it would be an easy decision, but it wasn't. We still kind of hemmed and hawed. We got some uh, advice from outside sources. I have a management person who uh, kind of helps out the business. Um, got her advice. Uh, spoke to my wife a little bit about the situation, what she thought we should do, and uh, we came to our decision. So we let the gentleman know who we are hiring, and he's very excited. So uh, I will have a new employee in a in about a week and a half or so, or a week, um, which is good, because this week's been hard, very, very hard, uh, but we're excited, we're taking the step forward, uh, you know, after getting knocked down a peg, and uh, we're going to keep moving forward, and we're going to put the uh, business into high gear. And I'm going to really try over the next couple of months to grow the business so that maybe I can hire another employee by the end of the year. If we can do that by the end of the year, I will be stoked. Uh, if it has to wait till the beginning of next year, that's fine. But um, that's the goal. That's the goal is to get enough business running, uh, drummed up, and uh, really start to take off again because it's been a stressful summer. And uh, now uh, putting that behind me and I'm taking my own advice, putting one foot in front of the other, not letting uh, obstacles keep you down. You can get knocked down a couple of packs, but you get up and keep moving because you know what? That's what makes you a man or a woman.
volume there were more women applying for IT positions, I'd be so much happier. Because I, I was telling uh, I was telling somebody today how when I worked at MTV, the strongest people, in my opinion, on my team uh, were the the female employees. They um, they might not have been the most uh, technically talented or technically gifted or astute. I don't know, the word I'm looking for is escaping me. But they weren't the most technical person people. But they got the job done no matter what. They always they were closers. They got the job done, and that, my friends, is the important factor. Uh, you know, people want their job. They they want their problems fixed. How you do it? Not always that important. They don't sure they don't want people dilly dallying and looking sloppy at it, but. It's people who consistently get the job done and don't have to get called back. Those are golden. And uh, I always thought that the uh, the ladies I worked with, and it could have been coincidental, could have just been that the people who happen to be ladies were, uh, were the, that kind of personality. But, um, you know, I guess that's how, uh, how people make decisions and lump everyone together. It's kind of a human flaw, isn't it? Eh, I'm a jackass. What can you do? But there is truly a lack of women working in this field, um, especially in my sector of it, the consulting sector of it. There's just not a lot. It's, it's a shame because uh, there's nothing overly masculine about what we're doing. There's no trait that says it should be uh, for people with, you know, facial hair. I don't know. Doesn't doesn't really make sense. Doesn't doesn't add up to me. But what can you do? What can you do? All right. Well, the sun is looking beautiful right now. It's getting low in the sky. Maybe you can see my face is all orange and looking and stuff because uh, I'm driving right into the sun. You can probably see the sun in the reflection of my sunglasses if you're paying attention. Um, I was going to go to Robert Lang Studios tonight for the uh, delayed art walk day uh, since it didn't happen uh, last week from the uh, tropical storm, but it's too late. It's way too late. By the time I got there, it'd be wrapping up and it just wouldn't be fun. So I'm going to head home, I'm going to eat, I'm going to relax, maybe crack a burr, and uh Maybe watch a movie or something. Just something relaxing. I've had a stressful week. I need to unwind. Got any, got any good suggestions for a movie? Anything? Well, maybe I'll watch... Uh, I'll catch up on my programs. Watching uh, Vice Principals, which... Awesome show. And the guy Chuck that I took a headshot of the other day is in Vice Principals as a background actor. Um... And the other show I'm watching is Mr. Robot, which if you're, if you have any knowledge of the information technology world, specifically of cybersecurity, they do such a good job of depicting um, cyber criminals. Sure, it's Hollywood, but it's the least, it's the least glamorized, is that a word? But yeah, glamorized. It's the, it's, it's the least phony um, depiction of kind of the hacking community. Uh, you know, it, it's, they, they really have done their homework. They, they've researched it. And they, you know, a lot of, a lot of the stuff that they've done feel like um, things that could happen. Things that have prob- probably been thwarted by... Uh, you know, by our government, you know, the type of attacks they're, they're uh, depicting are things that you could just see happening. Um, but beyond that, beyond the, the technical side of the show, it's just an awesome show. It's just an awesome uh, portrait of, of somebody with severe mental issues and uh, wrapped around this cyberpunk type of... Uh, 
you know, crime story. It's it's fantastic. And I'm also watching The Night Of, but I've only watched the first two episodes. I haven't had time to watch it, but I've enjoyed the first two episodes immensely. I mean, the acting in that show is just ridiculously cool. Uh, the atmosphere of it, and it's just a gut-wrenching show. You're like, ah. Oh, I don't think the guy did it, but he could have, but I don't know, and oh, it doesn't add up, but oh, it's just, oh, it's, 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 it's rough, but it's good, it's so well done, um, so let me know if you got a good show that I should watch, that I probably won't be able to catch up to until, like, you're done watching it, because I don't even catch up to the shows I'm watching myself, but maybe I'll sit and do that tonight, that's what I was getting to. I'm going to take a me night and just do nothing productive because I've got no excuse not to. Right? Right. I deserve it. You deserve it. Take it easy.